Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we will talk about customer posting group, how we can set up in, in a customer posting group in Business Central, uh, and when we see use this customer posting group uh, to post uh, your receivable in a correct uh, GL account. So let's go to Business Central and check how, how this works and how we can uh, set up this. So here in Business Central, we will go to Explore More. And then we will check here in, in the Finance, uh, our customer posting group. So here uh, we have one, uh, just one, but I think it's enough to explain uh, how this works. Uh, of course, that I can I can create uh, a new uh, uh, customer posting group. It's, it's really easy. What you need to consider here is that you need to have a, a receivable account uh, in order to uh, do this. So in this case here, uh, uh, I will create a new, I will set up the same uh, account uh, just because I don't have uh, a specific account for that. But let, let's imagine that I will have the domestic and international um, uh, customer post group. And then here, I should go and see what is the account that is defined as receivable. You can see here that I just have one account. Okay. And then here, how I can set up the other accounts related to the customer post group. Here we have the service uh, charge account that is uh, the account that you specify when you are posting uh, some charge uh, uh, for this customer so you can use the same account or you can or you can define a different account for that also here uh, you have the account that you you select uh, to post the discount uh, 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 for a debit and for a credit so uh, you just need to click here and, and select the account uh, okay here uh, as you can see here uh, we don't have any account for uh, discount here uh, yeah that is nothing so uh, in order to do this you need to uh, set up a, a, a account for that in this case here uh, we don't have an uh, option to select, but the idea is uh, that you just have to go here and select the account. Also, the same for the payment tolerance. So if you are working with uh, payment tolerance, you can also uh, define the account for debit and credit for that. Also, you had you have here the routing account, so you can do the same. If you have some routing in the invoice, you can define one, one account for this. And also, um, uh, when when you have some uh, route that is relation just with the customer, uh, you can also define here. So, uh, so he the account for debt and he the account for credit, and then um, we have here uh, the account ledge to post uh, holding difference. So basically, what you can do here is use the same account. So he uh, uh, let's go back uh, and see my international account uh, that I just create, uh, and then the. Uh, domestic uh, customer that is uh, already set up. So uh, you can see here uh, that uh, in this case, here for the domestic, I am using the same account for 
debit and credit uh, we have here the account for interest that I, I didn't mention uh, uh, the account for additional fees uh, and also the road account that you can see here that in this case we use the same usually what happens in a company when you set up this you usually set up the same account for all uh, but of course if you want you can you you can uh, create a specific account if you need okay so this is the account and let's see how we can use this so basically uh, what happened in terms of system is every time that we use a custom uh, the system we will select the uh, use the account defined in the customer post group in order to uh, post uh, uh, the numbers so uh, let's see how, how this works so first let's go to a customer just to see let's check one customer this for example and see how how is the setup so he invoicing you can see that we have the general post group and the customer post group we are talking now about the customer post group so uh, it's basically uh, the same that we uh, saw before uh, 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 here I just want to show that uh, uh, our customer already have this setup uh, and the idea is that when you create a new customer uh, in business center that you always define this okay so my customer has the, the customer posting group and then every time that I select this customer uh, let's see if you select this in a sales order for example when you post the sales order, the system will be uh, use uh, this account in order to uh, post. In, in this case, if you are uh, posting one uh, uh, sales order, will be uh, like a debit in this account. Uh, and then uh, when you receive this uh, value for the customer, the system will um, reduce this value that means the the system you post is like a credit so uh i will just uh, go to one sales order and post this and then receive this in a journal just for us to check uh how this work uh properly so let's go Let's go to sales order. Okay, I want a new, I don't want to choose this, so let's go and create a new. Okay, so we have we have this sales order for this customer. Uh, okay, and what we will do here? I will select one item. Okay. I will keep the value and the only thing that I will do here uh, is just uh, to post this. Okay. 
okay we have the invoice details with all the data uh, Okay, let's close this. Keep an invoice. Okay. Let's go and check the posting. So we have here, then we go to uh, site entries. And uh, if you go here uh, in here entries, we will see that the system uh use it for that my uh, general post group uh, domestic and you can see here uh, that the system use e the receivable account in order to post uh, the value that i need to receive in the account so you can see here account receivable and then uh, if i want to uh, receive this uh, in a journal the system will also uh, uh, post uh, uh, in this account so uh, let's go and see how this works in a, a receivable journal okay Okay, not in a, um, let's go to a receivable journal. Okay, he, uh, what we will do, uh, we will let the date, he, I will select the customer. Okay, then what we can do here is we apply the entry. So let's select this uh, first line for the last. Uh, so let's select this. Okay. Okay, and this against this account is already selected. The only thing that I need to do here is uh, post this. Okay, now we will not check. Uh, um, uh, this value, uh, the only thing that I will do is go uh, after and check what is the account that we use it uh, to post this. So maybe, okay, so let's just post. Okay, it was posted, uh, so Let's go to the customer. It was this customer, so let's uh, check. Okay was this payment so I will just uh, select this and find the entries and just to show you the account that was used 
because we select the custom. Okay, so you can see here, uh, this is the account, account receivable, and you can check here uh, what is the custom. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, and please uh, add your comments, and then if you have any doubt, please let me know. Thank you, and see you in the next video.